All right, this is the last uh, for now of um, the uh, rules that we're going to go over. So we're going to go over rule six um, of the quantum, uh, the rules of quantum mechanics. Um, this is the superposition rule. And basically this deals with when we have two devices, so again, or three devices. So again, we're going to use the same one that we used for the last set of rules. Um, so we're going to start, um, so if you just watched rule five, this will, this will look familiar. So we're going to start with an SGX, we're going to have an SGZ, and then we're going to have an SGX, and we're going to have it, and we're going to ask what the probability of it coming out of the bottom is. The difference this time is that we are going to take the results from the plus and the minus of the SGZ and combine them back together. Okay, it turns out in this case, we're actually going to calculate the quantum amplitude of each path separately and add the quantum amplitudes together. This is important because we're not adding the probabilities together. If you add the probabilities together, you get the wrong answer. We're going to add the quantum amplitudes together. So let's start uh, with the one we did last time. So last time, again, we read from right to left. We read kind of the, the opposite way that most of you are used to reading probably. So we go f minus x, that's the one the furthest to the right. We now go to the minus z, that was the one that we did last time. Again, now we're going to ask, okay, we're coming out of here as the plus x. So now we're asking if we're coming plus x to the minus z, what's, what's the amplitude of that? We get minus z, we get plus x. And that's the thing that we calculated last time. Now, if you remember from last time, when we calculated that, and it's actually right up here. Um, this is exactly what we calculated the last time. Uh, we got a minus one half for that quantum amplitude. All right, so it's a minus one half. Okay. Now what we have to do is we now have to create, we now have to calculate the, the plus path. So we now want to calculate, um, uh, if we go from here down to he here, oh, sorry, ah, shoot. Yeah. If we go from here to here to here. Now that's now we're going to calculate that. All right. Never never try to do that again. All right. Okay. Um, so again, we're starting to the right side. We're starting with a minus x. We're then going to the um, plus z plus z plus x. Again, we've just gone minus x to the plus z, to the plus x. All right, we're just tracing our way backwards. Um, again, so this one we actually need to calculate because we haven't calculated it yet. So minus x is square root of 1 half minus square root of 1 half. Plus z is 1, 0. And again, we're multiplying that by 1, 0 turned on its side because it's a, it has its arrow pointing to the left. And plus x, which is square root of 1 half square root of one half. All right, um, again, we multiply this way. Um, square root of one half times one is square root of one half. Um, minus square root of one half times zero is just zero, so I'm not even gonna add, include that, because it's just gonna get, we're just adding zero, adding zero doesn't do anything. Same thing here, we get one times square root of one half, that gives us square root of one half. Zero times square root of half gives us nothing, so we just get square root of one half. Oops, sorry. Sometimes it's hard to write with these things. All right, there we go. Um, and we multiply those together, we get one half. Now, here's the thing. If we add those two quantum amplitudes together, this, these are the two quantum amplitudes. If we add those two quantum amplitudes together, that will tell us the chance of coming out of the, the quantum amplitude of coming out of minus x. Now, if you take minus one half and add one half, okay, so that's what we're doing here. We're adding those two quantum amplitudes. You just get zero. All right, and then the probability of coming out of the minus x then is just equal to that squared, the quantum amplitude squared. Well, obviously, zero squared is just zero. All right, and this makes sense because remember what we taught, talked about before, when it comes out of the plus x side, all right, we measure it in the plus and minus z, but when we recombine it, it's as if we never measured it, so it's still in the plus x. If we take a plus x and measure it as a minus x, we, we get a probability of measuring it uh, as zero. 
Um, and so that's the whole idea behind it. That's the superposition rule. Um, I hope those uh, those help you out, um, and I will post all this so that you can um, see this uh, in the um, in the if you ever want to look in the future. All right.